<clears throat> let's talk about just pages 12 and 13 in 1122. <clears throat> We're going to use the same formula that we had in the previous lesson, but uh, this time they're going to give us the n and the first term, and um, they're going to give us the exponent, but we don't know the ratio, okay? The number that's going to be multiplied times each term, and they want us to fill in these blanks here, okay? So let's see if we can figure out what, from this series, what we can tell up here. Well, first of all, the first term is 5. So A1 is 5. We don't know the R, so we're going to leave that blank. How many terms do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, we have four terms. So we could say A subscript 4 equals... The first term, 5, times r raised to the 4 minus 1 power, okay? Which means this is to the third power. Now, that last term, that fourth term, actually is 40. So I can plug in the 40 in place of this fourth term equals 5 times r to the third. Now, this is just a... You know, an algebra problem, if you, you know, maybe I've, it's been several months since you did algebra problems, but we're solving for this variable r, and it's to the third power, and I have five times that, so we're going to undo what's being done to that by dividing both sides by five. Does that look familiar? So you get r to the third, 40 divided by five is eight. Now, we need to figure out what number times itself, times itself, times itself equals 8. So, we're doing like the third root of each of these. So, the third root of r to the third is r, but then you do the same thing to the other side. So, the third root of 8 is 2. So now we know what to do to find these other numbers. We take the 2 times the first number, which gives us 10. And now we're going to take the second number, 10, times 2, and we get 20. And then the 20 times the 2 equals the 40. Okay? Now let's set this one up. I'm not going to finish this for you, but this actually is one of your homework problems. But I want to tackle this one because they give you several like this, where you have a fraction at the end. Okay? We're going to use the same formula here, except we need to erase these numbers. And I'll, we don't need to erase that. All right. So the first one in this case, plugging in for the A1, is 4, okay, times R to the, now we have 1, 2, 3, we have 4 terms. So 4 is the N right here. There's four terms, one, two, three, four, so four minus one. We're going to do three, four, um, r to the third power again. Then that fourth term, the n term, is the last term, which is one half. Okay? Are you with me? <laughs> <coughs> so we need to solve for r. What do we do? All right, so we think back to Algebra 1, trying to isolate the variable, so we want to get rid of this 4. Well, we can think of it as dividing by 4, or maybe think of it as multiplying both sides of the equation by 1 fourth, so that that will cancel. We do the same thing on this side, so now I have 1 eighth equals r to the third power. <coughs> Same thing we did here, we're going to do the third root of both sides. So put this third root, third root. So now the r pops out, and the third root of 1 eighth is 1 half. Ah! I'm going to let you finish that. But you know what to do now. You take the r value times the first term, you get the second. Take the r value times the second term, you get the third one. Okay? But all we did was we used this same formula. You just have to know what all those letters mean and what to plug in, okay? And then you have to remember how to do the 
third root of an exponent, or sometimes it's the fourth or fifth root, okay? And your calculator will cert certainly help you do that. Uh, there might be one or two here that are kind of tricky. And yeah, we're looking at number seven. And number six, that doesn't look fun, but I think you can do those, okay? And then um, we'll come back and talk about some other problems after this video.